Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. So in this video I'm going to be teaching all of you how to make a nuke in Roblox Studio because after this egg, um, when I had the nuke then everyone asked me to teach how to make a nuke. So let's do it. So first we have to get the nuke. First we have to get the GUI done, okay? Like basically like if you buy a develop, developer project and you get it, okay? So in this screenshot we're going to call it nuke GUI, okay? Let's just call it nuke GUI. And then in replicated storage, just quickly insert two remote events, call one chat, okay? This will insert chat messages that someone launched nuke, and then this one will be new client. This new client will end up uh, just making sure that uh, yellow stuff, like yellow appears, okay? So in the nuke GUI, you're going to want to insert a frame and make the size 1010, okay? Border site special 0, and then background transparency 0 0.5. Okay, and then the background color will be yellow. So it'll look like that there's a nuke, right? So then just make it visible false. Okay. Like that. Okay. And now we're actually going to need the nuke itself. Okay. So we will have nuke and wait. Before that, in the nuke GUI, we have to do one more thing. We have to do text button. We'll put it up here. So everyone can see it. Text scaled. Background color 3 will be red. Okay, and then nuke. White text. And then Frederico 1 as the font. Boom. And then if you will buy that, and then UI corner. And then to make it round, just do 1 0. So it's nuke. Now people can buy that. Okay. So uh, I'm just going to quickly scale this. Uh, it's. Uh, this is the auto scale light. Oops, no, not the constraint. Don't add the constraint. Just uh, this. Okay, and then select this and then scale and scale. And now we have to go to game settings and save to Roblox. Grant permissions. Uh, okay, quickly, uh, we'll just call this nuke. Okay. And then we're going to insert a, we're going to make a developing product. And I'll show you how to do that right now. So loading place. Okay, game settings. Mine is oh first in security, third party sales enabled. Okay. Monetization. Developing products create. As you can see, you can see right here. Nuke. One hundred Robux. Game settings. Monetization. Right there. Copy the ID to clipboard. Okay. So now start a GUI. Nuke GUI right here. Insert a local script. Script dot parent dot mouse button one click connect function game get service marketplace service prompt product purchase game dot players a local player comma the ID the nuke ID okay now we need our nuke positions you'll see what I mean in a second okay so we're gonna have nuke Okay, find a nuke that's just one part. Like, just one part. Mini nuke. Let's just t take this, right? So, as you can see, problem. Three parts, right? Take out the script. Like this. This. And then look. Take these. Model. Union. Union. Look, they're one part. Now we have nuke. Boom. Okay, and then if you want... Want to uh, just make like the material? I prefer smooth plastic because that looks good. And then scale it up. That would that would be good. And of course, make can collide off. Boom. Just like that. So now we have our nuke. Okay. And then now we need nuke positions. Okay. So what I mean is that see this nuke? We're gonna duplicate this. Okay. And we're gonna bring it all the way up like that okay because that's how high it's gonna go we are gonna call this nuke position one one like that and see this original nuke here put this into server storage we'll need that later so look so when i do the server the nuke's gonna go here and it's gonna go to this first position okay then we're gonna duplicate this and we're just gonna make a 90 degree angle like that 
and we're gonna call this nuke position two because we have to make it turn around, okay? And then, one more time, we will duplicate it again and bring it all the way down. So it will go all the way down, like this, and it will go there. This will be nuke position three. So it will go to all three positions, okay? So then we're just gonna make this transparency one. And now, just one server script. Server script, server script, we're gonna call this nuke server. Okay. Now we're gonna do this. Local marketplace service, or just MPS equals to game, get service, marketplace service. MPS dot product, prompt, product, purchase, finished. Prompt, product, purchase, finished, because it's a developing product. Connect, function, player, asset ID is purchased. Okay? Like that. So now, so basically, each time this prompts, if someone press cancels, so we're gonna do if is purchased then. So this shows that if the thing is purchased then it's gonna happen. Or if you're a developer and want it to happen just for you, you can do or player dot name equals equals to yourself. Something like that. So if even if you plus cancel, it will still work. Okay? And then like replace W underscore blue with developer's name. So when you press cancel, it will still go off. Okay? Like that. Okay? Now, okay, and now we will do if asset ID, because now we have to get the asset ID, if asset ID equals to your asset ID. So we will take this asset ID over here, and so we'll make it that, so it knows that if it's that. So now we're gonna do local nuke equals to game, get service, I mean, no, equals to game, wait for child, nuke, no, not, uh, no, game.server storage, wait for child, nuke, clone, like that, nuke.parent equals to workspace, okay, now we're gonna do local tween service, equals to game, get service, tween service, Okay, like that. Then we're gonna do game dot chat fire all clients player dot name dot dot has just launched a nuke. Watch out. So basically this will do uh, I will just tell it will alert everyone in chat that the player has launched a nuke. Okay. Now we're gonna do local tween equals to tween service create nuke so which is the part that's going to be tweened tween info no tween info dot new 15 how many seconds yeah it's gonna so this is gonna be the first screen this is how many seconds it's gonna go up in the air 15 enum dot easing style dot linear so it goes straight Enum dot uh dot easing style no dot dot easing easing direction dot uh ease, enum dot easing direction dot out and then zero false zero so basically uh if you like how many times it repeats if it goes back we don't need that okay and then comma over here squiggly brackets Position equals to workspace dot nuke one nuke position one dot position. Okay, so so it's basically going to nuke one position. Okay, and then we're gonna do tween play and then wait fifteen seconds. So it's gonna play the tween. Okay, and also nuke siren. Okay. So we also need some audio with this. So see this nuke siren? We're gonna put this uh, into nuke position one since it's at the top. So the siren will blare everywhere. 
So this is the ID over here. Just copy it. This is the ID. Uh, six five two five six nine zero one four five. Just copy that volume ten. Okay. <laughs> so under the this we're gonna do. Uh, under this we're gonna do workspace dot nuke position one dot nuke siren play just like that. Now after the wave fifteen we're gonna do four i equals to zero comma one comma zero point zero one do wait point one nuke dot c frame equals to nuke dot c frame lerp like that workspace dot nuke position two dot c frame comma i this makes it turn see how this one is upside down it makes it turn Okay, it just lerp it in a smooth way. Okay. Now we're gonna do local tween two. Two equals two. Okay, and then we'll just take this. We will take this. Copy this and put that there. Nuke position two. Okay, and then instead of fifteen seconds, this is how many seconds it will go down in. So we'll do one point five seconds, really fast. And then the position will be. New position three, dot position, just like that, and then we will do tween two, play, okay, and then we also need the whoosh, okay, so uh, because the nukes, then we're gonna pa first we're gonna pause the nuke siren, so workspace dot nuke position one, dot nuke siren, pause, so it stops because it's starting to go straight down, okay, and then. See this whoosh? We're gonna put it into this script, nuke server. Actually, no, we're gonna put it into the nuke. Okay? This is the ID 706-906-7211. Okay? The audio works, okay? So, whoosh, okay? So we're gonna do nuke dot whoosh play. So the sound plays is going down, and then wait 1.5 since the tween is 1.5 seconds. Okay, so now we're gonna need the nuke bomb. Basically, so uh, watch this. So we're gonna need a circle, part, sphere, okay? Make it really big. Let's just make it that big, okay? Transparency, 0.5. Brick color, yellow, material, Neon. Uh, where's neon? Right there. Okay, like that, and then anchored equals to true. We are gonna call this nuke bomb. Okay, we're gonna insert a script into this. Script dot parent dot touch connect function. H if h dot parent find for child humanoid. Then h dot parent dot humanoid dot health equals to zero. So it just auto kills people. Okay, we're gonna just put this nuke bomb over there. Also into there, okay? So now, after wait 4.5, we're gonna do local clone equals to game dot server storage dot nuke bomb clone clone dot parent equals to workspace workspace Okay, and then workspace. Also, in nuke position one, we're gonna insert a nuke. Ex nah, hmm. No, in nuke position three. Actually, no. Let's put it. Let's also put this in the nuke. Okay, nuke explosion. Okay, this is the ID nine zero five six six nine five three zero five. Just copy that down. Okay, so we're gonna do nuke dot. Okay, nuke. Dot bush, I mean, uh, nuke explosion play so that nuke explosion will play and then game dot replicate storage dot nuke client fire all clients true and then wait 10 game dot replicate storage dot nuke client fire all clients false. You'll see how I have to do this and then clone destroy and the nuke destroy. So basically, after this has been tweened to go to the ground, okay, the uh, the wish will play, it will go down, then nuke explosion will play, nuke bomb will go, and then 
when it fires all clients, it will tell the thing to make the frame visible, and then after 10 seconds, it will tell it to make them false and the, everything to destroy. So in this frame, we will insert a local script, and we're going to do a game, the replicate storage dot new client dot on client event connect function value, and then since it's either true or false, script dot parent dot visible equals to value. So if it's tr if it fires true, then it's going to be uh, like that, and you know. Okay, one last script. It's going to be the chat script because you know how it fired all clients for the chat. So we're going to insert a local script here. We're going to call this chat, not in any screen GUI or anything. Local brick color equals to brick color dot new toothpaste. You choose what brick color you want the chat message to be. Game dot replicate storage dot chat dot all client event connect function message msg if string dot find message comma has just then so basically see here how it says has just launched has just launched a nuke uh it will just make sure that is it so no hackers can do that actually wait because if someone changes it then it's gonna be bad and then it's not gonna work so just screw this one so we're gonna do game dot starter gui set core chat system make message chat system make no chat make system message like that comma like this uh squiggly bracket marks and press enter so it's like this okay we're gonna do text equals to message okay and then font equals to enum dot font dot fregaroka one okay like this color equals to brick color lowercase b brick color dot color and then finally font size equals to enum dot font size dot size 96 like that and if I'm right, this will work. Okay, guys, uh, before we test this, I found a quick error in the script. So we, here we have to do local player equals to game dot players get player by user ID player. Just like that. So basically, it just gives a user ID, not the player name. Okay, so that, that's why the player dot name will, will break. Okay, Okay, guys, uh, one, more, one more thing. Uh, oh, yeah, I found one more error. Okay. So when you're cloning the parent, we also have to do clone dot position equals to nuke dot position, or else it's not gonna work. Okay, sorry about that. So now we will press play and let's see if it works. Nuke. Would you like to buy nuke? One hundred robux. Yes. Per your purchase of nuke succeeded. As you can see, it starts there. It's gonna go up for fifteen seconds. All the way up. All the way up. Okay, then it's gonna go down. It's gonna rotate, pause, and then wait till it just goes down. Boom. Yellow screen. Just like that. Oh yeah, and also, one more thing. Uh, the nuke bomb just made Ken collide equals to false. Uh, can collide equals to false and also uh, make the nuke GUI ignore gill set to true just like that and reset on spawn to false okay so basically the model will be in the description and that's the video guys I hope you enjoyed be sure to like subscribe and turn on notifications bye